ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Yellow Legacy. We have made a lot of progress in the last few weeks, and Yellow Legacy is now at the point where the the work, the, the conceptualizing, the theory crafting, all of that has been done. And so we've got a game now, right? Doesn't mean the game is done, but it means, I would say like the end of last week, to me really marked the start of playtesting, like sort of era for this ROM hack. So what we're gonna be doing today is like really just running through the early game, fighting, like seeing how Pokemon feel. Um, we're gonna go in normal mode just for to keep things sort of simple. I like running as a girl just because it's like a new feature. Um, so we've got a lot of, lot of nice balance changes have been coming in. And I feel like the game is, 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 is starting to move towards like, you know, Crystal Legacy, for example, like it's, it's, it's pretty balanced now, but like, you know, two months, three months before we dropped it, it was like, yeah, like all the gym leaders and this and that are in a pretty decent spot, similar, but there's just like this fine tuning that the game really needs. And so that's kind of where we're at right now is we're it's, it's like now it's time to get into the fine tuning. So that's kind of like what we're going to be looking at today and just just playing through, checking out the first few gyms, seeing how the game feels. Because um, I was going to do this anyways. And I was like, I'd rather I'd rather stream this with you guys um, than just do it on my own. So we're here. And uh, yeah, for anyone that's never seen it. This is our, our female character. We're thinking of changing her, actually. We might go for more of a Gen 1 styled green. This is more of Leaf, who is actually from, from Gen 3. Um, but we're, we're thinking we're gonna go with a Gen 1 sort of sprite. Yeah, this means we've made tra trainer changes for all the routes, yes. So all the, all the trainers on all the routes have had their uh, like general levels balance i guess is probably the most important thing and we've done a lot of evolving like there's uh, yellow in, in gen 1 in general does a weird thing of like making you fight level 20 caterpies and level 30 zubats when they should be evolved um so we did a lot of that evolution it, it didn't do all of it because again it's like part of that was just for variety's sake it's like when you fight you know a million uh bug catchers in a row it's kind of I don't know. It's kind of frustrating to just see the exact same Pokemon over and over. So, anyway, always like the Gen One last sprite. I, th I think there's some really fun sprites. Um, one thing we're, we haven't dropped yet, but what's really coming along is we're reworking all the back sprites. Um, I'm excited for the the fixed back sprites because the yellow back sprites are um, okay. We're gonna we're gonna grab the Eevee. And then we're not actually going to grab the Eevee. Um, the yellow back sprites don't actually match up to the yellow front sprites. They updated the yellow front sprites. Um, and they've got really good... Like, I think yellow does a pr pretty good job with its front sprites. But the back sprites have been not updated. So they're the same as they were in the original Japanese version of green. And so they don't match up. And so what we're wanting to do... I'm going to name I'm gonna name Pikachu Pikachu. Because I think sometimes when you do nicknames, people are like, what Pokemon is that? Um, I guess you won't, but anyway. Um, oh, has the rare candy glitch uh, been fixed on the last stream? We can test that actually. Um, I think I think we have had that fixed, but yeah, make Pikachu chonkier. Um, Pikachu's actually got a stat buff. So, original Pikachu has 30, 35 base. Uh, I think I just pulled out my my headphone. One sec. Um. Can you guys hear that? Yeah, you can hear that. Uh, let me know how the sound is. Oh, even just like that, like we like a palette change for for Eevee looks so good. Um, it's normally like gray and awful, but anyway, for Pikachu, it was originally 35 HP, 30 defense, which is awful. Like in the end game, Pikachu is just it's never surviving more than a single. Sh it, it's getting one shot every time. So we raised its defense to 50 from 30, its HP from 35 to 55, and. It was performing better, but I was like, man, this is like the game's mascot. This is, you know, the series mascot, but the game's mascot, right? And it's your starter. So we've done a buff of HP to 60, so just slightly more. Um, we're just, we're still feeling it out. But Pikachu, like I said, we really, really want to fine tune Pikachu. Um, the other thing we've done for Pikachu is 
That might be it, actually, as far as Pikachu goes. But it's... From where it was, where it had, like, 40 special to 70 special, like, it can actually land some pretty meaty Thunderbolts and Thunder Punches. So I think I think where Pikachu at is at right now is, to me, it's really strong in the early game and really helpful in the early game. Um, and more importantly, as you go on, it, it falls off, but in a really like appropriate way for what Pikachu is. So you'll find that Pikachu is not great at just handling like 1v1s versus really powerful Pokemon where you're just hitting back and forth, but Pikachu has Thunder Wave. So to begin, Pikachu is a really good Thunder Wave setter because it has good speed at 90. And when you uh, factor in like static speed, static experience, which is basically like your Pokemon are a little stronger. Rattata is another Pokemon that wasn't purple before. Like what? Um, anyway, when you factor that kind of stuff in, um, basically you've got, what I'm trying to say is Pikachu is pretty fast, so it can get Thunder Waves off really nicely. 100% accuracy thunder, thunder Waves. So you paralyze, you have a 50% chance that the Pokemon can't attack next turn. And then it learns Headbutt, which makes, like, you can flinch. And with that speed, you're going to land, you're going to attack first, and there's a chance for you to flinch. So what works really nice is Pikachu has been, like, despite, like, you go into battle with a Pikachu and you're like, dude, this thing is not going to do very well. But it actually holds up well and it'll pull off these these moments where it's like not guaranteed to win but it'll pull off these crazy anime moments where it's like whoa there's no way pikachu can win here and then it just like lands a thunder wave gets a flinch and it's like oh my god pikachu and then it just like wins you know and it's like it's got this really cool thing where pikachu doesn't feel like just an absolute powerhouse annihilator but it's really capable of like pulling off these ne these neat clutches. And to me, I think that actually feels way better than just having like the partner Pikachu and let's go Pikachu where you start this game and it is just like, it has the stats of an end game Pokemon. Like to me that it kind of breaks the early game. Um, and then the other thing with Pikachu, as I, I have said is, um, Pikachu is given a 25% boost from the from badges. So in Pokemon Yellow, uh, all Pokemon will get a boost from four badges. So when you beat Brock, you get a boost in attack. Uh, so it gives you a 12.5% boost, which if your attack is 100% or, or 100 base, it basically makes it 12, uh, 112.5. Um, so for Pikachu, that would take its, its like 55 attack, I think, to... 62 or so like roughly speaking um which is okay but with that 25 percent boost it takes it to 69 so it's like okay 70 base attack that's not too bad you know when you get the special boost which is at after blaine that 25 percent boost takes your 70 special which is even with you know stab thunderbolt it's starting to fall off by a gym seven and now it's 90 and it's like oh that's like kind of an evolution so the stats of this pikachu that we see right here is like it's almost like what we're giving it is like an extended evolution throughout the game with the badge boost glitch um so you get that 90 base attack effectively um and then it's like stab which is like same type attack bonus because pikachu is an electric type uh, it gets a 20, it gets a 50 percent boost on all its electric moves and then you have thunderbolt which is the best electric move in the game and pikachu is fast so Pikachu can also like take out pretty much anything it's super effective against. So it's I, I it feels very appropriate to Pikachu. Like to me, Pikachu shouldn't feel like Alakazam, where it just sweeps everything. But Pikachu also shouldn't suck. <laughs> and so that's been the balance that we're finding. Now, today, guys, we are gonna run uh, some Pokemon that we've never run before. And I actually wanna ask what you guys think about that. Um, now, one, one, one thing uh, James says is, why don't you make the boost 50? Um, that is like a potential that we're still considering is rather than that boost being, uh, being, what would it be? Sorry, sorry, 25%. So taking Pikachu's 90 speed to like 120 or 115-ish, um, it would actually be a 50% boost to 135. The reason we don't want to do that is because of the, the, the badge boost glitch where every time Pikachu changes its stats, that boost would be reapplied. 
So if you pl if you would have the badge boost glitch, you would have the badge boost, and then you apply, uh, let's say you just use one double team, P all, like all of Pikachu's stats are now doubled. That's why we don't want to go with 50%. If there was no badge boost glitch, it wouldn't be a problem, but it's a part of Gen 1, and it's a feature in Gen 1. Um, as much as it is a glitch, we don't want to remove that because it is just something that's very tied to the core of the game. So for that, Pikachu, we're doing the 25% boost. But still, even with the 25% boost, Pikachu is going to be really good with agility, as someone just, just pointed out. So, so it will be a really good badge boost abuser, but it's still kind of frail. So I think it's feeling pretty balanced. Now, as we got to kind of jump away from Pikachu... Um, Oh yeah, so people say like maybe do 40. Um the way the code works in this game is you can only do um like I don't know what the term is, but like intervals of like 2, if that makes sense. So like like to the power powers of 2 or like the opposite way. So you could do like 2 4 8 16 or 1 half 1 quarter 1 eighth, right? So you can't do like 1 sixth. It's like all um, I don't, I guess I don't know the math term for that, but yeah. So it, you unfortunately can't do that. So, okay. Anyway, so it's, it's 12 and a half, 25 or 50. I'm thinking about Pokemon. I want to try for this run. And I, I'm actually thinking about like Pidgey. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm also thinking Sparrow. What, what do we think chat? I want to run some Pokemon. I haven't ran before. I'm thinking Beedrill and Sparrow actually. A uh, place where you can see the summary of all changes. We're going to be uploading it as videos. Um, and honestly, I've just been really focused on getting like everything feeling good before I release a bunch of videos. But I did just record a video on the gym leaders. So that's going to be uh, hopefully this coming Sunday is going to be that video. And then we're going to have another video um, in a week talking about Pokemon changes. And it's going to cover what I just talked about Pikachu and, and all that stuff. Beedrill is cool. Good bug until you get Scyther. Yeah, I, I, I think I'd like to... Uh, I think I would like to give our boy uh, our boy Beedrill a shot. See how Beedrill performs in the gym, actually, because this is that would be three Pokemon that are not good against Brock, and I'd be curious if he would wipe us or not. Um, now, we're kind of struggling to find a Sparrow here, but just give it a sec. Um, one thing I've also been thinking uh, is actually removing Poliwag from this patch of grass, and we're moving the Old Rod to this city, and we've put Poliwag in, in ponds with old rod with the old rod so rather than just catching magikarp now you'll be able to catch poliwag as well and i think that would make poliwag feel a little more natural than being in this patch of grass um is sparrow still like locatable here like what the heck man i'm i'm, I'm not finding sparrow um it's it, it is in here but the odds are maybe a little low so let's let's actually do the route we were just in which i have added sparrow to Nine tails. We've actually ran nine tails. It's pretty good, but fire types in general just don't excel in Gen One because of matchups. It's not that they're bad, but it's just that they don't have places to stand out. Um, so it's just kind of unfortunate, you know. All right, Sparrow. Pidgey's cool, uh, but Pidgey's in a good spot. Pidgey gets some good moves now. Like Sky Attack does a lot for Pidgey now that it's basically uh, Flying type Fire Blast. Um, it gets the player reward for learning to fish early. Yeah, thanks, Wing. I appreciate that. I, I think it, it feels a little more natural. There's your Vulpix. So all three, uh, there's three elementals before the first gym. Um, we're really struggling to find a Sparrow. Dang. Um, all the Pidgeys are a sign. Maybe we should try Pidgey. Maybe we should try Pidgey. Could the route uh, right of Vermilion get steal? All right. Pidgey's coming up. Pidgey wants to be caught. We're going to go with a Pidgey, guys. I'll do it for the chat. I'll do it for the chat. A tiny bird. This is the first, uh, this is the first game that Pidgey actually has a good sprite. Um, all right. Into the forest we go. I don't, I don't know if Pidgey can do amazing here, but, like, it is useful because it's got, obviously, uh, 
super effectiveness against bugs. So we'll give we'll give this first fight a shot. Ooh. By the way, we got uh, we got some new emotes for members. Uh, I don't know if anyone is interested in membering joining the Champions Club, but if that does sound appealing to you. Um, basically members get, uh, all live streams. So sometimes I'll live stream and I will unlist it if I just don't think it's like, if it's not something like of really high quality that like, I really want to show everyone, I'll unlist the stream. But if you're a member, you'll get access to every single live stream, no matter what. Um, and I just post it, uh, as a, as a, as a link, um, to the members feed. Um, and then you also get really cool emotes. Uh, you get Pog for it, Derpy Chikorita, Gengar, Whoopy Boy, Deal With It Arcanine, um, Pupitar, I, I don't even know, like, shocked Pupitar, I don't know, Aw, oh, Chansey and Hi Pikachu. Um, yeah, just, just some dude says, thank God Gust is flying now. Um, agreed. We love, we love that. Um, <laughs> staring Pupitar is what it is, so yeah. Um, so anyway, if you want to support the channel, if you're a fan of the project, you know, it is something that would be super appreciated. Obviously, don't feel pressured to, um, but, uh, the part of the money goes to YouTube and part of the money goes to the channel. So it's, uh, uh it is support. It is appreciate the support is appreciated. Um, anyway, this is a fun, this is a fun stream. We've got, uh, we've got a lot of people here and it's, it's good vibes. So I hope you guys are, are enjoying yourself and, uh, we're going to, we're going to, I actually have never ran Pidgey in, in a version of Yellow Legacy, so I've been so focused on like Cater uh, Caterpie, uh, like Vulpix and uh, Poliwag and all those that I've just been not worried about Pidgey. Um, yeah. Oh, Craig says Goldeen's move set should be improved. Yeah, Goldeen's got some better moves now. Uh, it's actually got Drill Peck. Like we gave it all the pecking because it gets Peck with its horn, but it doesn't get Drill Peck, and Goldeen is just kind of bad. So um, it needed some some better moves to kind of like have a niche um oh what's up kevin says is that an xp bar in gen one you got it um yeah did waterfall get buffed yeah we've made it a flinching move um so that it, it can kind of stand out from surf um i feel like with oh wow pidgey got four levels from that fight that's incredible and that's i actually added a caterpie to that fight just because i felt like viridian force didn't have enough xp so that's awesome oh any plans to touch emerald that's going to be the next next project um and i think like emerald legacy is going to be i don't know like i i hope people aren't disappointed by it but i think it's going to be awesome i just think it's not going to be as like obvious you're not going to be like oh like an XP bar. It's not going to be so shiny because X, like Emerald is already pretty optimized, but what it is going to be is like polished. That game's not balanced, man. Like if you look at like the starters, it's like a joke. Like you've got Swampert that is the best starter in the history of Pokemon. Maybe Infernape takes that spot, but I don't think so. And then you've got Sceptile that gets uh, uh, as absorb until I don't know. Like, I think it's got Absorb till, like, 29? And then Blaziken's, like, kind of good, but it gets no good fighting or fire moves. Like, Blaze Kick as its signature move is bad. Sky Uppercut is bad. It's weird. Um, JR Glenn, the first donation of the stream was up. Also, appreciate the support on that. Says, love yellow. Can't wait till Legacy, excuse me, is released. Um, me too. I think this is like the way that we're doing it the right way. Like we're looking at yellow first um, and then we'll move on to like the big boy, you know? I think I think this is the better order than had we done emerald. And then you do yellow and everyone's like, I don't care about yellow because everyone wants emerald. And I asked in a poll and everyone was like, we want, we want emerald. So it's like, okay, well, emerald has to be the last one because that has to be like the peak. And then... Those are the only three games I really want to do Legacy for. Um, I don't feel qualified to do anything because I'm not as well versed with the, the previous ones. Um, John Roberts asks, Swords Dance Goldeen? Swords Dance is for Pokemon like that have claws. So it, unfortunately, no. Um, it would be a sick niche for it, but it just it doesn't really... I don't think it really fits. Did we do that in another game? Because that feels kind of familiar, but I, I don't... I don't think it works. Like, Sand Slash... Yes, but I don't know. 
Can't wait for a huge power Volbeat. That's funny. Oh, guys, that's the 1%, dude. This is the second time that this has happened in a stream. I swear to God, it is a 1% chance. Dang. Okay, th this is the anime Pidgeotto right here. I love that. We've like we've kind of taken the whole one percent spawn, and we've we've kind of gone further with that, and I love it because like there's something about getting a one percent encounter on a route when you're not like looking for it. Um, I'm using quick attack. Sorry. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Nice. Okay, we're gonna swap back here. Uh, it just feels really special. So. Oh, do you know about the Lorelei softlock? Yes, that has that won't happen in our version. Just a sand attack spammer, dude. Ugh. Ugh. Awful. Awful. I can't believe you'd do that. Um we'll t we'll, we'll take the fight, I think. So there's Oddish. Oddish is in uh Oddish is in this place too. Mm. Yeah, so what we've done is we've made it so all boosting moves are bird type. Bird type doesn't... Okay, bird type exists in the code, but it's nothing you ever see unless you catch Missing No, which is a bird type Pokemon. Bird type is neutral to all moves, so that's one way that we're fixing that whole, like, agility, always, like, being spammed against poison types and that, that kind of thing. Will you improve Emerald Lord sets? Yeah. Yeah, and I don't, I don't want to talk a ton about Emerald Legacy because that's that's so far in the future, you know. Um, this is this is we want we want to give Yellow the time to shine, right? Um, oh, Morgan Douglas, that's where Faulkner got his bird. You are such a legend for pointing that out. Yeah, I always thought that was really crazy. Is like, oh, there's actually a place in Kanto that you can catch a level nine Pidgeotto, and that's literally what Faulkner has is level nine. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You put Ash catch catch him in it? No. So yellow is not like the anime. I think people like try to think that like yellow is exactly the anime, and it's like it's not. Like it's it's its own thing. It's red and blue with a dash of the anime, but it's it's not the anime. <gasps> Does anyone see the new little little feature there? That's a new one. That's a new little feature. We've got the Pokeball showing that we have caught Pidgey before. Kind of fun. Oh yeah, so what bug should I catch, guys? Should we do Metapod or Kakuna? I voted for it in the pool for just that. I love that. Kakuna. I'm kind of leaning Beedrill. I'm kind of leaning Beedrill. I don't know if Beedrill's gonna be good for the fight, but okay. So it's Kakuna, or there's no there's no Paris yet. Metapod, Kakuna, Kakuna. I'll start a poll. All right. Um, we'll start a poll. Let's see it, chat. Let me know. Oh, I don't know if I can take uh, this next guy on on our own. Oh, Kakuna is winning 72%. Dang. All right, so we've got our, our eight battle pincer. We'll decide after this fight. Um, I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave off the hop here because this thing is kind of meaty. Okay, so by the way, both... Oh. Okay, we need to get a para right here. Oh! Okay, so, um, both have m moves. I again, it it's, I just mean the line in general. Like, everyone's like, why, why not cat? Just the line in general. Do you want the, do you want the Caterpie? Or do you want the, the Beedrill? You know what I'm talking about, okay? Oh, yes, yeah, Shaker Silver says, kind of crazy Emerald idea. Dual champions for the double battle generation. Individual fights for post-game. I think that's what another game did, right? And I love the idea 
but I don't think I would do it for the champion battle. I think I would do it for a rematch, actually, because I don't think you could change the the champion fight that much for 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 Emerald. But I would do like I don't know. I would do something with more champion fights. I think I think one should be a double battle. I, that, that's what I really think. I think I think that should be because it's it's so boring that you just have like a kind of sort of good water battle and then like the champion is water. I think if one is a double, it makes them different enough that they stand out on their own. Whereas like one just kind of feels like Wallace point five. So, all right, Kakuna has won after our battle with Samurai, um, which is the lower odds to catch. So you're gonna need. To not really that much patience. I think we're gonna catch it right now. I mean, if we found a 1% Pidgeotto, it's, it can't be that hard, right? I almost think Oddish could be a lower percentage. Oh, there you go. It was meant to be. Um, well done, chat. All right. Let's go, Weedle. Oh, he wanted to be caught. <laughs> One is basically just we have walls at home. Exactly. Cool. Um, I always wish there was like more stuff to encounter, you know, I don't know. What's, uh, would you guys want, do you guys want me to grind, s swap grind this or do you want me to just, oh, actually we might not have rare candy. So never mind. I guess we're going to swap grind. Wow. Kakuna destroyed that pole. No champion Steven is truly a shame, but it'd be cool if it was a, a po like post battle, double battle for like uh, like for the rematch, because you know we're gonna add rematches in Emerald Legacy, that'd be cool. Um, Steven champion, that's the that's the other thing I actually genuinely, kind of prefer, is I just don't personally think that Wallace should be champion. I think he should just be a really hard, uh, I think he should just be a really hard gym eight. Um, you get those EVs. That's the other thing is if we do swap grind this bad boy, we'll get some, some EVs, which we do want, you know? So yeah, the other thing that's kind of fun about this is we're going into this Brock fight with no really strong Pokemon. Wallace is champion is anticlimactic, yeah. As optional double battles, yeah. I don't, I don't know what that does to the game. You know, like it's kind of weird. It's like, what game are you playing at that point? I just think it. I like the idea of emphasizing double battles, but it's it's we don't want to make it like pure double battles. You know, there's a there's a line where it's just like this is too much, and this again, it's like. The, the the goal of of these games is to hop is for someone who's not watched a single video from me hop into the rom all they have to know is this is an enhanced version of the game you love and they don't have to go like looking up a million guides to get through it they don't have to be like oh why is this move not hitting normally i thought this was a this move and i thought this pokemon had this type it's about keeping as much stuff like as, as simple as possible you know which like, here's a really good suggestion. I've seen a ton of times. People say, why did you make Twin Needle? Why did you put Twin Needle on a bunch of other, like why'd you give Scyther and, and Pinsir Twin Needle, right? And the answer to that, because a lot of people will say, well, you should have just made Vice Grip a bug move, right? You hear that? It's like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Huge problem in that though, right? And it's not even a huge problem, but it's like, it's, it's not looking at the ROM hack from how we're trying to handle it. Vice Grip is a normal move. Right? So every time you change the type of a move, that's like a step away from how the average player remembers their game. And we want it to feel as familiar as possible. So Twin Needle is a move that you know is bug type. And yes, it's a signature. So we're gonna have to make a change. But to me, it's much better to give a Pokemon a move that is already, like just w distribute it wider than be like, no, that's only for this Pokemon, you know? So make Twin Needle that everyone knows is already bugged just good and put it on other bug types. To me, like, I, like I'm, I'm a playing 
and I see, oh, my twin, my Scyther learned Twin Needle. And it's like, okay, it's a bug move. It's just like, you know, it makes more sense. Whereas like, oh, this, this Scythe, this, this pincer is using Vice Grip on me. And like, I don't know, how would I know that it's a bug type move, you know? It's, it's changes like that that we're really trying to be uh, aware of, I guess. So... Yes, there will be a. Pro oh, there's actually going to be two post game Professor Oak fights, uh, and we've programmed them both. Um, so there's going to be the normal fight that you would expect. Uh, it's going to take place on Route One, which feels appropriate, right? Because he, you kind of like encounter him for the first time on Route One, and then you're going to fight him. All right, so sorry, I should say that's going to be the team you're expecting. So like the starters, he's going to have a Tauros, probably like a Snorlax. We're talking about making a second fight. We're after. I don't know. Uh, should I not tell you? Oh, God. What the? Oh, Jesus. We just lost Thundershock. Oh, God. Pikachu was just, th was just quick attack. I think it can handle it. I think it can handle I think it can handle it, guys. Oh God, that's, when was the last time I saved, you know? Oh no, Chad, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't want, I didn't want that move. <laughs> Rip Pikachu. It, okay, so it gets Thunder Punch at 20. It's not that far away. Oh, this is a strong ass Pidgey. Oh my God. I mean, I guess we still have a Pikachu. It's not that bad. Copium. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Man, is has Weedle always been this slow to level? I feel like it's in like a, a slow class. It seems like it needs a lot of XP. There's our Kakuna. Pokemon icon on the battle hut is huge. Yeah, I think that's a, a strong feature. Time to put Pikachu in the box where he belongs. I've never done a run without Pikachu before. It's an early Vulpix. Yeah, we wanted to make it so that, like, one of the things in yellow is that everyone just runs Pikachu and the three starters because there's no other good options for like elemental types. So we put one of each before Brock and that's basically just to give players another option. Um, so yeah, anyway, Stashian, thank you for the dono. Always appreciate it, man. Um, I think basically, basically, yeah, basically, uh, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it, right? Like that, that, that makes sense. Jolteon and Electabuzz be looking good from the sidelines. <laughs> All right. I think I think Kakuna can start at least doing this a little bit. Should we go for the 10 B drill and then head into the fight? Oh, there's the Ember. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So by the way, I do just throw on speed, speed up, just, which removes the sound for people. Misty wind condition gone. No, not at all, because Pikachu gets uh, Thunder Punch at 20. So it's uh, it's not too bad, actually. Um, it is nine levels away. It's not nothing for sure. But like I said, it, it it's, <sighs> yeah, that's, oh, <laughs> all right, Kakuna, you take so much effort to grind, but I don't know what else we're going to do against this Onyx, you know? Eh, eh, it's getting there. Raichu is my favorite Pokemon. Um, Raichu is cool. Uh, Beedrill, a Misty killer. So here's the thing with Beedrill now. Is it, it Misty's Starmie has confusion. So it's not quite the Misty killer it once was. It doesn't mean it's bad, but it's not quite, you know? It's not quite there. Pikachu learns Surf now. That's a really good question. Pikachu is going to have access to all HMs. Uh, Pikachu flies in the intro 
Obviously, Pikachu knows Surf. Um, so it just makes sense. Does the Pikachu learn agility before Surge? Uh, it does not. But again, um, the primary focus is like making this a good game. Not like, I would never prioritize like something that's really OP like that just because it's in the anime. Um, it's a, it's a video game first and foremost, you know? So you gotta be like, okay, what does the video, like what, what does the video game need? Like another example of that is Erica in this game they they unevolved her her uh, victory bell, and her oh her vile plume because in the anime that's what she has she has a weeping bell and a gloom, but it's like well for the sake of a video game that you, you fight two fully evolved aces and then the next and then the fourth gym leader has nothing I mean like I wouldn't count Tangela you know what I mean so it's got like two non evolved Pokemon so it's like you're going backwards, and that is really bad for like pacing from our video games. So it's like, you really got to prioritize what the game is. And that's, that's like the one unique challenge, I guess with yellow is like, there's so many people that are like, well, it's like this in the anime. And it's like, yeah, but that would make the game worse. You know, are you going to add the extra town that's on the map? Is there an extra town on a map in this game? I had no idea about that. That's crazy. Really? Also, Kakuna is at level nine. We are getting there. We are getting our Beedrill, ladies and gentlemen. It's evolving just backwards. Exactly. It's weird. It's very weird. The surfing minigame is available. You got it. Look at that crit. Nice job, buddy. Citrine Town. Huh. I've never actually heard of that. That's cool. So excited for this to come out. Hell yeah. Thank you, ZP3. Oh, uh, please don't uh, spam questions. I literally, I answered you. Uh, so just, just watch it and follow along, eh? <laughs> There's no information surrounding it. And see, that's the thing is, it's just a scrap town, you know? So not something I think that really needs to be added. Can we make Tangela usable? Uh, yeah, Tangela is going to be usable in this game for sure. Um, I think it could take another one, but it's it's not going to be enough. Dang, that's too bad. Um, Tangela is going to be the third earliest learner of sleep. We've pushed sleep to the end game because it's really overpowered in this game. And so to balance sleep being really overpowered, we've pushed it to the end game. There's our level 10. Uh, no, Constrict is going to be a normal move. Ooh, how's the snow in Halifax? Um, it's quite a bit. My girlfriend's a teacher, and she's already had her, her class, uh, her school canceled tomorrow. Oh, Beedrill has learned Pin Missile. You will be able to catch all Pokemon, Walta. Walta White. All Pokemon will be available, including Mew. We're going to tie Professor Oak into the, the second Mew fight. I won't talk about the second Professor Oak fight, I guess. Oh, as for, uh, yeah, I, this is a question that gets asked a lot too. Um, and I, I have put it out there, but um, there will be a DLC kind of launch for, for Crystal, but not for a while. Um, I just, I was getting a little like tired of, of living in the world of Johto and Gen 2. And I just, I needed to kind of move away from it because I was just like not nah. I was like oh this is this is too much so just wanted to take some time to back away don't talk about it no spoilers I, I won't talk about it I won't talk about the second one the first one is like it, come on like obviously <laughs> we're doing that but all right so Beedrill's gonna do great in this fight um it's the next fight that it's gonna probably get destroyed but pen missile's a good move Like, look at that. Look at that. Beedrill. Woo. Damn. I can't wait for you guys to see the fixed Beedrill sprite. Looks so much better. And it actually looks like Beedrill's pose in this game.
you can paralyze electric types. That's just a feature of this game, so we left it in. Damn, yeah, Beedrill's a beast, man. Holy. And as it should be, to be fair, you know? Um, I, I don't know how we could possibly win this Brock fight, but... Beedrill with Fly... I know, I'm very apt to give Pokemon... Very quick to give Pokemon... Uh, fly just out of convenience like um i removed dodrio's ability to learn sky attack because one it doesn't make sense and two do with with sky attack becoming flying fire blast it's just it's too strong on dodrio anyway but it, it, it like if it was like an air like aerodactyl obviously should get sky attack even though that's ridiculous but like on dodrio it doesn't even make sense but we kept fly on it just because it's annoying to not learn fly so but how would you fly in a bee it, exactly right so it's it's more like is it just convenient um okay so we're going into this with an electric type and two flyers <laughs> all right chat ready ready to get destroyed oh yeah steven don't worry there will be documentation for everything every single person i need you to hear that there will be documentation on every single thing and if it's not documented it's because it hasn't been changed so remember that we got you we got you he's a big b it, he is a big b all right let's see the pin missile filthy filthy holy shit that was a lot of damage is Bug not super effective against... What? Oh, we get the crit there. Oh, we needed that against Onyx. It's neutral. Why is it neutral? Bro, Beedrill's fucking dead now. It ate it? Oh, we get the crit. Come on, five. Damn. Damn. Brock's AI isn't so bad anymore. He just landed two rock throws. I don't know if that was random or not, but... Can't wait to see the final teams for all the boss trainers. Playing Crystal Legacy made me remember why I love Pokemon. Dude, thank you so much. Like, that is, like, why we do this, and that is so awesome to hear. So thank you, man. I really appreciate that, genuinely. Who is that? I think I actually got a strategy to beat Brock, but Savage Nerd, thank you for that, man. I, I really appreciate the heck out of that. Okay. I actually think we're going to restart this fight because I learned... I know the strategy. I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do for this one. Um. Okay, so... Okay, so Beedrill is going to take on Geodude. But yeah. um, There was one thing I, I did want to say to you, Savage Nerd, is... uh. So yeah, for final teams, we've got a video on the the, the tentative teams for the uh, gym leaders going up, hopefully next Sunday. That's what I'm, I think we're gonna. We haven't actually uploaded a video in a while. It's due to sponsor stuff. Um, basically, like this project just is kind of expensive to run and operate. And like you know, I know people kind of hate sponsors, but it's like Pokemon content is not super profitable. Um, it, you know, when you compare it to something like say like. Minecraft and Fortnite and Call of Duty, which are things I used to do. Um, so it's just like trying to find a way to make this like a sustainable channel. And it's like, we got to do sponsors. So I know people hate it, but uh, it's it's for the content and it's for the ROMs. So if you can bear with it. Um, and that's why we haven't uploaded a video is because we've got a sponsored video. We had to push stuff. Anyway, um, Daniel Doerr with the big, the big meaty 10 bomb. Are, are you ready to see this, Daniel Doerr? What balance updates did standard trainers require? Mostly just leveling. Mostly just... I mean, that's really it, because... Wait, before I finish that question, we're gonna go with a... Tail Whip to start. Okay? We're gonna start with a Tail Whip. Just get that defense down. Just... Bring it down just, like, even if it's one hit per... That's nice. Okay, it's gonna go for Bide. Dude, Beedrill's got this. Beedrill has got this. So... We balanced all Pokemon, right? And important to note, in Gen 1... Um, we've made basically like the, the coding is kind of weird. So we've basically just made it. So all standard trainers have the learn set moves given the Pokemon's level. Um, 
So with that, we buffed all Pokemon anyway, so all the trainers have better moves. So that's like the biggest buff that they got. But then, dude, this thing just wants to run by it on me. That's so okay for now. So with that, we, we did that. And then um, we mostly just evolved Pokemon that should be evolved. And then on top of that, we raised levels. And that's really like, that's really all they needed, you know? Cause like, I guess realistically, like what else would you do? <laughs> um, but yeah, so hopefully that's a good answer. Thank you very much for the don't really appreciate it, man. Um, Smash Hero says, glad I'm able to catch your stream. Just recently beat Crystal Legacy and I fell in love with the game all over again. Excited for Yellow Legacy. Guys, we got you that boss. Oh, Growl is, has been done. Okay, let's go for the Tail Whip. We're just nerfing this thing. I don't know. Okay. Bro, look at Pikachu. Look at Pikachu. Pikachu's going to put in some work. Okay, it's going for the Bide. Are you ready? We swap to Beedrill. We swap Beedrill. And then we go for the Pin Missile. Doesn't do anything. Watch how much damage this is going to do. <gasps> he hits the crit. The three. The four. The five. Dude, the odds of that happening is like 12.5% to get the one and five. Or to get the five. And then to get the crit is like another one of five. That was... Dude, Beedrill's a god. Beedrill's a god, man. Oh, I... That makes me so happy to see this man get some, like, use. Like, that he's even useful in the Brock fight. That was so sick. That was so sick. I'm actually really curious to see what it can do against Misty. Currently, there's no Smart AI. I think we're going to probably add Smart AI, which is something I do want to talk about. But first, another 10 bomb from Aurelio Mercado. It says, I can't wait for this to come out so I can Nuzlocke it. Third super on a live stream. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> I will probably Nuzlocke this too, but dude, Nuzlocke Gen 1 is like, it's like, so you have chosen pain. And, you know, to be fair, we have removed a lot of dumb things in this game. So, I don't know. I feel like it adds some consistency. Like the changes we're, we're, we're throwing in are going to provide some consistency at least but um yeah it's it's gonna be an interesting nuzlocke still for sure um also saw a really funny comments and again just thank you so much for the for the super chat it really means a lot um someone says brock trying not to throw his battle uh, a challenge impossible <laughs> yeah so we're thinking about adding good ai and actually like a, an improvement from even the smart ai there is some code for that and uh Actually, one thing I wanted to note with this guy is he says, Hey, I met you in Viridian Forest. We've actually, this is, we've actually just took, taken his team and, 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 and evolved it. Um, so it's, it's the first guy you fight that has the three. So it's Caterpie, Weedle, Caterpie. And now I think it's Metapod, Kakuna, Metapod. So we just wanted to keep that consistent. But uh, yeah, Bro Brock, I don't know. To be fair, like I was still like, okay, this is, we lost the first run, and it was like, you know, you got to think about it now. Like, Screech and, and, and Rock Throw are a little bit menacing, and, and Onyx has better stats, too. So. Oh, someone mentions Firefetch. Yeah, Firefetch is going to be pretty good, actually. Yeah. Sorry. Oh! Oh my god, I didn't even think about that because the way crits work in this game, everyone's saying. So yeah, Beedrill landed a crit, which is actually bad because it didn't take, it like crits go right by any sort of stat changes. So because it was minus six, it actually would have been a kill. Yeah. Oh yeah, we gave this guy a Butterfree too, which I like that. Like that feels way better than if it was just another Metapod. That's like, okay, we're getting to the, you know? So this is a great example of what we've done to, we've done to trainers is like, yeah. Guys, we got 800 people in here watching Generation 1 Pokemon. This game is from 1999, I think. 2000, maybe. I'm pretty sure it's 1999. 800 of you here. It's so awesome. I love it. 
Leave that guy be in two places at the same time. Well, the thing is, he's here, but if we go back to Viridian Forest, he'll be there too. <laughs> Flying Gust is a Gen 2 thing. To me, that's just a change that... Um, okay, actually, this was a bit of a talk in, in the playtesters chat, but I, I think this is a really interesting... A really interesting uh, sort of like discussion. People were suggesting, and there's a there's a theory that floats around that Gust was a last minute change to normal type, because if Gust was flying and it was Pidgey starting move, Pidgey would dis like every single Pidgey you encounter would destroy uh, Bulbasaur, and Bulbasaur is meant to be the easy char the easy uh, starter. Isn't that crazy? I never thought about that before, and I think one of the playtesters pointed it out. Um, I don't know. To me, that's just really cool, <laughs> and it makes it makes a ton of sense because, like, if you know this first player going in, it's like this is the easy Pokemon, and then it just gets folded on Route One. I'd be like, huh? Yeah. Bulbasaur hard mode now. Bulbasaur is not starter, so. No. All right, we got critical. Any update to fire, ice, and ghost psychic effect effectiveness? So, yeah, we're not strictly changing everything. Uh, ice is still going to be neutral against fire, and I like that. I wish Pokemon had always been that way, genuinely. I think it makes sense that, um, okay, if water is super effective against fire, right? Water puts out fire. Ice is melted, but then turns to fire, or turns to water. So, like, shouldn't it just be that it's, like, a slower process, but it's still water, so it's, like, neutral damage? Like, I feel like it should be, like, ice doesn't do a lot, but the fire burns it, and then it turns into water, and that makes it kind of, like, neutral. To me, I prefer, I like it, but that's not why we kept it in. The, what we've done, basically, is we've tried to keep it as much as they intended. So... That was an intended choice. We left that in. Poison is super effective against bug. We left that in. Psychic is really broken, so we made bug better. But there are so many poison types in this game that if you leave bug being super effective against poison, which a lot of people don't ever even use a bug move in this game because the only Pokemon with bug moves are Jolteon and Beedrill and Venomoth, I think. So you never use a bug move. So it's very common for players to have no idea that bug is super effective against poison. But because we needed to balance psychics, we just removed that and we just made it neutral. So ice is neutral to fire. Bug is neutral to poison. Poison is super effective against bug. And ghost is super effective against psychic because that was the intention and it was actually a glitch that that didn't play as intended um in the in the re red and blue in sabrina's gym it is stated ghost is super effective against uh psychic and it's just a glitch so so yeah two two stay the same and two get changed and fire should be neutral with the water yeah and that would also make sense but again it's like i wouldn't change that because that's not how it is in any pokemon game and it's like you know those are bad changes because it's like I, I agree. Like, I'm just saying, like, it. just to give an example of why we don't change things, it's like, well, no one knows that. So then it's like, oh, I have to now relearn the Pokemon, like, um, you know, the, 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 the type effectiveness chart. Like, well, I don't want that people to have to do that. Would it be possible to make the XP bar blue? Uh, no, because the game is just really limited. I know, I know you want it, and it would be awesome, but it, I, I think, too, it, it does kind of help show that, like, like it's still that Gen 1. Like, it's not perfect. It's a little buggy, you know? It's like a, a, a quality of life improvement, but it's not perfect yet, you know? I, I think it fits fine. Like, I'm just saying, like, technically, uh, you'd have to change a lot to fix it and to add it because you're adding another color onto the screen and the game does not like handling lots of colors and yeah as as super Zach says i i kind of agree like it, to me it's a little charming i just think it's like kind of like a it feels like a gen one quirk 
You are looking very funny. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, Gengar is not a counter to psychic types because of poison. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to stick with yellow front sprites. Um, and we're going to do updated back sprites only. Which is going to be really awesome for like Gen 1 coders in general. Because I don't know if that's been done. Um, and there's some really bad ones. Dude, these things have uh, sturdy. Like what the heck, man. Um, so the reason we're leaving the XP to Bard code this way is that's what it does in Gen 2. So it, it's more, uh, it's more, it, it feels more in line with like the evolution of the games. Yeah, um, some dude, like really great point. Dragonite's back sprite is awful because it's based off of Dragonite's green, awful front sprite. So Dragonite's yellow sprite is a little bit better. So it's just like modernizing it. I've, I've said it before, but but yeah, you got it. Oh, Windsor 92 with that 10 European dollars. Dude, I am gonna use this. I'm gonna head to, uh, well, wherever you want me to head to in Europe. Okay, how about, I think I can get a direct flight to like, Dublin, which is on the Euro. So how about that? And I'm going to buy myself a croissant and an espresso. So thank you. Um, starting the stream from the start now. Thanks for this and Crystal Legacy. The inclusion of Samurai Trainer reoccurring is so good. Any chance of adding Richie from the anime? Oh, so we've, well, I guess AJ is the other trainer that a lot of people want. And he's already, he's already in the game. Like yellow added uh, AJ, but... No, I'm going to... Uh, guys, listen. I'm going to Dublin. I'm going to a French cafe in Dublin. Because every... What city doesn't have, like, a, a French cafe? I'm not going to Paris. Because that would be not a direct flight. I'm just taking whatever is easy, okay? It's like a six-hour right across the ocean. Because I'm right on the East Coast in Halifax. Just deal with it. Dude. I can get croissants where I live, okay? They're not that special. <laughs> and I will not get a Guinness... Because Guinness tastes like dirt. <laughs> en français. Going to Dublin and not getting a Guinness in exchange for a croissant and a coffee is a crime. You know what? Fine then. I don't want to go to Dublin. Huh. I've been there three times. I don't need to go again. So how about that? Guess what? You know what? Dublin revoked. Never going again. Sorry. Is there anyone here from France? Because I'm coming to France now, and I'm getting myself a genuine ass crescent. You never ate a real croissant from Paris to say not special. Here's the thing, though. Like, even in my city, there is a, a, a guy from France who owns a cafe and makes genuine French ass croissants, okay? I've had I've had a real croissant before. Anyway, <laughs> um, the guy who sent that uh, Windsor is is rewatching the stream, so I don't think he's here with us right now. But anyway, you're gonna catch up and eventually see your super chat red, which is kind of fun. So so, hell yeah. Um, and then Aurelio with another ten bomb. So chat, I am in fact going to have to ask you to put in the in the chat, drop a heart emoji for Aurelio. So we like to do that for people that that are are chill like that. I don't know if this has been asked already, or if you already addressed it. I think you might, but probably forgot. But are you planning or thinking about adding the cut Professor Oak fight? Yeah, I actually just talked about that. But because uh, you sent money, I will readdress it. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so we're going to add two. After you beat the Elite Four, um, I'm really grinding Pidgey. I just want Pidgeotto, but I should probably balance it a little bit. Anyway, um, after you beat the Elite Four and become champion, Oak will fight you on Route 1. So it's kind of a nice tie-in. And that's kind of like the post-game fight. And that's going to have your starters. It's going to have like a Tauros, a Snorlax. But we're adding another fight that I, I guess I'm going to not talk about. And it's going to tie into Mew. And it's only going to be available if you've caught 150 Pokemon. 
and then to catch to catch Mew, it'll be like you need 150. Um, so that's not gonna be a fight that a lot of people see, and I won't I won't talk about it. Um, oh wow. Well, anyway. Yeah. So thanks a lot, Aurelio, and thank you guys for dropping some hearts. I saw John and Bloxy, the only two to drop hearts in this whole chat. But I see you guys spreading the love. So thank you. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this Mount Moon squad, but uh, actually, how many guys? You want to try to go through Mount Moon? Like, uh, with no, let's do it. Let's do a no heal, no poke center Mount Moon. So as soon as we go in, we have to make it through the whole way. What do we, what do we think about that? I'm going to go buy some potions as a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of a Mount Moon challenge run. It makes Mount Moon way funner. I, 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 more fun. Yeah. Dude, Blaine's team is actually pretty good now. Okay, I need, like, a lot of Pokeballs. Or potions. Ooh, get Clefairy or Jigglypuff. <sighs> Dang. Chat, what do you want? Clefairy or Jigglypuff? Jigglypuff is the game's earliest sleeper. Uh, second is Butterfree. Go to Quebec. It's kind of friends. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I go to Quebec all the time, Samuel. Um, I feel like I recognize that name. Have you? Have I seen you in here before? Um, all right. We'll start a poll. It's always hard to tell. Jiggly. Clefairy. Clefairy. <laughs> Will the final game fit into an OG cartridge? Uh, it should. I That went by so fast. But, hey, Frank, yeah, it, it should go into a, a cartridge. Crystal Legacy did. Samuel Stevenson. Wiggly got that lovely kiss now, too. Yep. Oh, there's our Sparrow. Don't need another flyer. <laughs> a Frank with those European bucks. Guys, I'm getting so many croissants today. I actually had a croissant yesterday. It was crazy. There's like a a, a, a cafe in my city uh, that's kind of going for like a, it's trying to be like a European sort of like nice fancy cafe. Um, it's great. And they had this thing yesterday. It was a, it was a Valentine's Day cro croissant. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, and uh, anyway, it had... Cho like raspberry chocolate drizzled over half of it and inside was like a sort of like custard cream cheese like crazy good filling and like like strawberry dude it was an eight dollar croissant and it like changed my life it was insane oh clefairy <gasps> clefairy one by one percent chat Sorry, Jigglypuff. Sorry, Jigglypuff. Damn. Clefairy Gaming. All right. We're going to try to do this in one go. After the first two fights, depending where we're at, I might just head back in. No, I kind of want to try the whole thing whole thing was Beedrill good dude Beedrill was the best oh Clefairy is better for sure I don't worry I don't disagree with that what does a pin missile do that's some big damage that's some big damage dude Beedrill's a monster yeah don't forget water gun yeah rage is Rage ever useful in this game? 
Because Rage does raise your attack, but you get locked into it. This guy's got Fury Attack? Do I have Fury Attack? <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, Rage is bugged to Gen 1, so it's useless. Yeah, it's a really bad move. <laughs> it's 100% that is cracked. Uh, Lovely Kiss is 75. So, uh, every sleep move is... F like, Powder... Is 55? No, is Powder 75? I think Powder 75. So, Lovely Kiss and Powder... Are 75 shit? Actually, I might have said something wrong in a video. Um. Anyway. Um. Yeah, so one one big thing uh, also people a lot of people have asked is um like uh, basically just a hard rule no new moves. No new moves. Anyway, Hypnosis is 60. Dude, this this Clefairy is actually like a pretty pretty significant fight. Everything but sign sign in Hypnosis is 75. And then uh Spore is, is 100. So Lovely Kiss is really good. Um, bro, this Clefairy is a menace. Oh my god, got the. Whew. Um, what's a Gus gonna do? Actually, that's not bad. Whew. Can Pikachu take one more hit? Damn. This Clefairy is unchanged too. I'm pretty sure that's just the Clefairy. Yeah, Parasect is good now. Parasect is gonna get Swords Dance and Slash, which aren't like they don't stack, but they're still really good. Okay. Okay. Wow, we got beat up here. That is one of the harder fights here, but damn. Okay. I said I want to do this. I want to do this whole thing without healing. Oh, there's a there's a Clefairy. Oh, are we gonna be able to catch it? We only have three Pokeballs. Let's go. The reason I didn't want to damage it is because I didn't want to have to use a potion on it. All right, well that's sick because we get a Clefable. That was a really like sometimes it's hard to catch one of those. So, is this Mega Punch here? Oh, HP up. Um. Arden Baker. <laughs> Here's five bucks for killing Pikachu. Should I zoom in the chat a little bit? I feel like it could like. Is that like a little easier to read for you guys? I don't know. Do you like like actually? Let me ask you this question. Um, do you like that I have chat on on screen just to to show you guys' messages? Because to me, it's like there's just like this whole space below me that I don't know what to do with, and I'm like, well, I may as well just like show off people's messages. But anyway, that's hilarious, Arden. <laughs> Can you use that HP up to revive Pikachu? Now you can definitely do that with a rare candy. Let's try with the HP up. I don't think it's gonna work, but it's worth a shot. It's redundant. Oh! Welcome to the champion club, Mariah, the Zamazenta lover. First member of the day, I really appreciate it. Uh, love the member support, very cool. Welcome to uh, the greatest club on, on, the, on the internet. <laughs> and there's I don't know why it, it, it popped twice for us but anyway congrats you got it you got double for live stream I keep chat open on screen chat is great I think it's great when you miss the live and watch the VODs that's a really good point too yeah because I guess I guess it is a little redundant but yeah 
yeah, so the rare candy down below will for sure evolve Pika revive Pikachu. So that is one thing that makes this run a little bit easier is you do have two revives with the uh, the rare candies. Dude, Pidgey's kind of like also sick. Thomas Milburn, welcome to champion. Oh, how does it feel that that power? <laughs> nice, Mariah. Showing off the emotes. Cool. Uh, new game trades, that's been talked about. The significant ones, I don't think so. One thing I have thought about is like, because we've made it so that Machamp isn't an Evo trade, um, you actually lose the early Machamp in yellow. And I'm wondering if we should change it so that that guy just trades you a Machamp. Like kind of OP, but that's how it was in yellow. Um, should that dude just trade you a uh, Machamp instead of trading you a Machoke that instantly evolves? Ooh. Oh my god, I always think Magnemite is Steel-type. We should be okay here, because Beedrill's just really strong. Oh my, oh my god! We got Aurelio Mercado coming out with five gift memberships and then back to back we have T Greeny gifting out 20 welcome to the 25 <laughs> new members of the champion club I need to see some hearts in the chat right in this moment for Aurelio and I need to see some hearts in the chat for T Greeny because that is absolutely crazy, guys. Thank you so much. Look at look at this look at this chat. Look at this chat. Look at all these gifts. This is real. This is real. Membership moment, bro. Thank you guys so much. That's so kind. We love the love, dude. Heck yeah. There's the hearts. There it is. The chat. Yes. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm feeling it, chat. Oh, look at that. Look at that chat right now. This is why we have chat on screen for the for the replay gang. Hi, replay gang. You're watching this post. I see you. Say hi in the comments if you see me saying hi to you. Damn, it's a Christmas miracle. Chat's going off. <laughs> we got so many members though. That's so fun. I love that. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. I hope we get more emote slots. Oh, that's the other thing. Because you guys just did that, we're going to get more emote slots. Because right now, I think we have nine. And you're capped by how many members you have. So the more members you get... So I'm pretty sure you guys just gave us more membership. So thank you for that. I'm going to try the HP up, just out of curiosity. Um, so it wasn't enough. But we will use the rare candy. And that will take Pikachu into not longer, no longer fainted. Um, it's kind of a, a fun way to get around not having revives. Oh my god, dude. Chat is going off. Chat is going off. I think the rare candy glitch has been fixed. Uh, Pikachu looks good to me. Probably should have saved beforehand. But uh, those looks like the stats of a Pikachu to me. So we're all good. We got a few more super chats coming in. Oh my goodness, I can't keep up. Um, okay, so Aaron says, Hey, Smitty, just wanted to give a little something for all the memories as a kid. Eh. Okay, this is a real one. Uh, Aaron, so, I mean, a lot of people don't know this, but I have had multiple YouTube channels in the past. So the, the Smith Plays is, is what this channel's named is Smith Plays. But the Smith Plays is my main. I kind of still call it my main YouTube channel because it was, like, the first big one, you know? Um, so, yeah, Big Zombies Guy. Uh, that channel had, like, almost 2 million subscribers under Zombies, and then it hit 3 with Fortnite. Um, so that's what that that's what that message is all about, so... And this, this guy has been here since, like, my, f like, Hater Blockers was, like, a, a channel that I, a, a series on YouTube that I started in, like, 2014. <laughs> so this man has been around for a very long time. So what's up, dude? <laughs> um, we've also got Juppy who says, Overworld Gym Leaders are basic NPCs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're going to change the Overworld sprites to, to be custom. And we'll just take the ones from, uh from gen 2 i think that is the plan um 
I'm not really going to use Clefairy till it's Clefable because it's just easier to use once it got, got the Evo. Um, but look at that pin missile, dude. I love how good Beedrill is. I don't feel like it needs a nerf. I just think it's a monster and I, I like it because it's going to fall off. Bloxu also knew about the zombies. Yeah, what's up, zombies gang? Any any nerfs? Oh, that's a really good question, Will. Um, that's a really good question. So the 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 gifts are getting cut off. It's saying who gifted them, but it's not saying who got the gift. Um, so you're just gonna have to comment to see if you got a gift or not. Um, but just make sure you check. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll fight this guy. Um, so Pokemon that have gotten nerfs. You know, theoretically, like Gengar and Alakazam got nerfed because you can't trade to evolve them at the at the level that they evolve into their first form. Uh, but because everyone plays on emulator, that doesn't really actually translate into reality. Um, so the reality, man, I can't really think of any Pokemon that's got a nerf in this game. Like our, our philosophy is never nerf, just make everything closer to the same power, you know? Oh, it is kind of showing Western Reptile became a member. Cool. Scyther was buffed and nerfed. See, there's a lot of Pokemon that are buffed and nerfed, right? Like, availability is a way to buff a Pokemon that people don't like to think about. Um, so there's a lot of ways you can buff something. And an example for Diglett is Diglett wasn't nerfed. We didn't touch Diglett's stats. We only added moves. Only gave it earlier level moves. But Dig was nerfed to 70 base power which is actually a Diglett nerf because Diglett is one of the few Pokemon that learns Dig naturally, right? But to compensate for that so that Diglett still feels like Diglett, we gave it a little more attack so that its Digs will feel as strong as it did. So very mindful to like make Pokemon, yeah. Yeah, and as for trade evils, it's the exact same thing as it was in Crystal Legacy. So 42 for the two good ones and 38 for the slightly less, less good ones. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Oh, so you're you're the man, Pat. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. I know, I know you just uh, donated, but yeah, appreciate it, dude. It's been cool to like try a new project. Um, for me, this has been a project that's been like rather than like I don't know. I think I've bounced back and forth a lot, and I've I've learned a lot about like what I get out of YouTube, and it's like. I, I, I did zombies, right? And this was like a pure passion project. Zombies was just like fun. And I truly like would have done it. Oh, focus energy on Beedrill is really exciting. Um, like I would have done zombies no matter what, you know, it didn't matter about the money. I was just passionate about it. And, and I was so fortunate and so grateful that it did become my job because I was all like, even at the age of 16, I was like, I was like, I got to figure out a way that like, I don't have to work a normal job. Like even at 16, I was like, that, that's just not going to work for me. I knew, I knew from the start, like I, I got a job at 16 and having a boss that would like tell me what to do and like tell me how to do things in a certain way. When I like, I knew that like the way that I did it, like worked better for me, like that drove me crazy. And I, I knew from that age. So zombies was just like pure passion. Um, and I kind of fell out of love with it. Like, I, I always will have a, sp a spot of zombies in my heart. But I just got kind of bored with making the same videos. So I was like, well, let's try something else. So I started a channel called Top Five Trend, Top 10 Trends. Actually, Beedrill's the best thing for this fight. Um, and that was kind of like, a, it was more like a business venture. Like, it was really just like running a, a business. Uh, but I learned a lot from it. And then I moved over to Fortnite. And that was really, truly did. Like, a lot of people were like, you sold out to Fortnite. And to me, it was like... When I first started making Fortnite videos, Fortnite wasn't big. It was like way before Ninja and Drake and all that. It was like, you know, it was like season zero that I started making videos on Fortnite. But then Fortnite did get big, so I got really lucky. 
but then you start getting all these crazy views and all this money and it's like holy shit and you know not that like my channels hadn't been doing amazing before but Fortnite was this like it was this like hyper crazy like what the hell this is like so successful and I just like lost the love for it because ooh pin missile needs more PP because it uses one for every time you use it anyway um so that was like kind of a, a crit. Oh, maybe it doesn't, but I still think it needs more. Anyway, that was a very crazy experience. And eventually Fortnite just got too much. So I, um, I, I don't know like what year it was. I can't really think. But anyway, I eventually ended up going back to zombies because I felt a, t a huge amount of guilt for just abandoning my whole zombies community. Um, oh, I'm going the wrong way. So anyway, I went back to zombies for a little bit. Then I started Minecraft. And Minecraft was like a fun thing to do something different. But Minecraft has totally become a job. Like, I don't... I wouldn't make Minecraft videos if it didn't pay well. And that doesn't mean I don't like it. But I think there's like an important distinction there. You know what I mean? It's like, it's... I think the thing with Minecraft is like, it is money first. And that doesn't necessarily... It's not a terrible thing because like we all do things for money, but the passion isn't quite as strong. And I think that reflects like in my personal level of pride for it. And also just in my enjoyment of the content creation. Like I played Minecraft as a kid and I love Minecraft, but I don't love it enough that like after a year of playing it every single day, I wasn't like, uh, so that's why I came back to this Pokemon channel. And this this is like, again, getting back to like just doing shit that I love. And it does not make near as much money as Minecraft does or Fortnite or zombies for that matter. But I love it. So I'm just trying to, actually, like I said, I'm trying to make it more profitable so that it's, it's just a little more sustainable, you know? So I can pay my staff more and uh, my staff, it's weird to say staff, like pay my team. I like the word team better um, and just, make better content you know so that's a little bit about me wait do i have the moonstone he has the moonstone stop him oh that's pretty dabalicious Um, you can ask a question about Crystal Legacy, but, like, there is, if it's, like, about where to find something, there is documentation for everything. Um, but if it's just about, like, the development, like, yeah, absolutely. Uh, there won't be unlimited inventory space in this game, by the way. Um, but there will be, there is a big, a significantly larger bag. Yeah, these are the original sprites. Yellow actually does a pretty good job with, with sprites. That's one thing yellow got right. Um, I feel like we should teach water gun to Clefable. Seeing as it's the only thing, I guess it's the play. Water gun's actually really nice there because it's not like a high stakes TM that you, you have to stress about like who you give. You know, like it's just, it's just like, oh, I'm gonna get bubble beam in like 30 minutes. Can something learn it? Okay, well, whatever can learn it. Like, let's just, you know, that, that can have it, and that's it. But yeah, like, isn't Mount Moon more fun when you're not always heading back to the Pokemon Center? Hmm. Why does VP hate your projects? I don't know what VP is. Oh yeah, you will be getting repurchasable TMs. Uh, same as Crystal Legacy did it. So, if you get a if you get a TM and it's like a big power spike TM, like let's say um, let's say Ice Beam and Celadon, you should only have one of those because that's really that's a really strong tool you just got. And giving it to every single Pokemon is like kind of removes the value, like the uh, the scarcity of it. But let's say like we're gonna make it so Ice Beam specifically is available at the Elite Four because by that point, it's it's not such a like. OP, like, holy shit, like, Ice Beam is such a good move when you get it. It's so strong. Ice is amazing. 
but for the Elite Four, it's like, well, I want to put ice on this, you know? So uh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, Fortune, Pokemon board. They hate everything. Um, <laughs> well, then I guess that's, I guess that's it. Yeah. I mean, I, I certainly get a lot of flack. Um, I feel like, and not, not a ton, like uh, most people are really chill, but um, I know there are some people that don't like me. Um, and that's just the reality of doing anything on the internet. Um, what I will say is there's people that have criticized me because I haven't given enough credit for certain things. Um, and that was originally just an oversight and misunderstanding of like the space. Um, I kind of thought that like everyone knew how ROM hacks worked and I didn't, it wasn't the case. So like, for example, like the in-party sprites that you see, we did not make those. Like someone else did that. Um, and to me, I just assumed people knew that like how ROM hacks work is like one person does a project and then they put it out for the rest of the world. And then other people now have that to use in their ROM hacks. And that's just kind of how the, the ecosystem works, which is awesome. I just assumed everybody knew that. So people have criticized me for that. And I'm like, that is extremely valid. And I have try my best to do it a little bit better we give credits and everything and I, I just try to be very like let you know everything you see in this is not original like content that we have made like it's it's a community of people so that i'm like hella valid um uh, but some people are just like i don't know like i don't like his the way he titles his youtube videos because it's like he says his, his rom hack is awesome and it's like yeah like i mean for me it's just like that's just the reality of youtube is like if I, if I made a title that's like, I made a kind of okay ROM hack, like you wouldn't watch the video. Um, so like, I just, I talk, I, I hype up my ROM hack. And I, it's like, if you don't like me because of that, that's valid, dude, I, I get it. Like, yeah, everyone hates YouTubers. Like, fuck yeah, like, I, I get it. But um, it, it's just the reality of content creation is like, if you, made a title that's like i made a kind of okay rom hack like no one like that's just no one's gonna click on that you know it's like i made a really good rom hack i made the best rom hack like okay and i think i think it's for the goals that it sought out to do the objective that it did i think it did what it sought to do the best that doesn't mean it's the best rom hack ever anyway um <laughs> thomas milburn with another heater of a tono Still haven't been able to find Crystal Legacy. Can't find a good link anywhere, but glad to hear you're doing what you love. Oh, go to the video titled, I made the perfect Crystal ROM hack. And it's it's uh, in that description. There's there's links to the patches. And then there's also a video that'll explain you how to patch it if you don't understand it. So I got you, sir. Um, We have a Jesse and James fight coming up. And just because you shot Jesse James don't mean you're Jesse James. And we made it through pretty unscathed. Alrighty, we ready? Um, yeah, early fossil access is probably no. It's just so there, you know? Like, you can get them after the fifth gym, which is not bad anyway. You kind of got to go to your way, but just don't feel like there's a way to make it earlier that doesn't kind of like override like how gen one is you know like a lot of people want to put it in pewter but i'm just like ah kind of ruins the point of the cinnabar lab so anyway uh that is a 20 so let's see some let's see some love for thomas but uh um let's go for another mega punch i think clefable's got this Mash that snake with your fist. I've been playing so much Crystal Legacy and it's awesome. Listen, as long as it's in contention for perfect, like that's all I care about. Is it clickbait? I guess. Uh, the thing with clickbait though, like is people are like clickbait is awful, but like YouTube has a, like <laughs> YouTube ha has a built-in program that like if your content is strictly like misleading, like, the way YouTube works is it does not prioritize that content. You know what I mean? Like, if I make... Like, the old school thumbnails and titles used to be, like, super misleading to get you to click. But now the way YouTube works is, like, 
if you don't deliver on what you say you did, people click off and then like the algorithm reads that and then is like, this video sucks. So clickbait is more like, I don't really like that word anymore because it's like there's misleading and then there's intriguing titles. So. Uh, oh, how do we get all evolutions? Um, ooh, I think Pidgey's going to get its... I want Pidgey to evolve in this fight. Um, Route 23 is going to have all three starters and Eevee to catch. Okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly, Xavier. You've got it. Um, basically, it's watch time. So if you click on a video and it's super misleading, then people click off and then no one watches it. So. All right. Let's hit a thunder wave. Yeah, they are giving us the business, aren't they? Justin James are pretty good in this fight. Um, they don't get a... They definitely... They fall off because they've got bad Pokemon, but we leveled them pretty well. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. I got to swap Beedrill now. Oh, that's lucky. That's actually not bad damage. It's gonna hurt. Oh. Oh, because it's got the resistance, right? Because it's poison type. Or wait, no. Yeah, Beedrill's, Beedrill's. Oh, Beedrill, I'm so silly. I, I'm thinking it's uh, Butterfree. Beedrill's poison bug. Caterpie is, no. Beedrill's poison bug, right? Is Beedrill not flying type? Obviously, I make terrible ROM hacks. I don't even know this. <laughs> if you if you like your ROM hack and you say you like it in the title, I don't see how that's clickbait. S super valid. Super valid. <laughs> oh, we get that wing attack, bro. Pidgey comes... A wing attack might be too late here, or too early. <laughs> okay, so... Arden has dropped another five bomb because Pikachu died. I think that is the funniest thing of this stream. Like, just the pure hatred of Pikachu is so... <laughs> Dude, it's it's so, like, admirable. Like, I don't hate Pikachu, but I just get it. Like, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pedro's definitely not a flying type. It sure isn't, chat. <laughs> it sure isn't. I love Mudkip. Oh, I heard you like Mudkip. Does anyone know that meme anymore? Does that meme exist in all you Zoomers? Actually, no, no I say Zoomers like no one here is a Zoomer. Uh, crazy. The one thing about uploading like really old Pokemon videos is like it's the first time in my life that my audience hasn't been quite a bit younger than me. It's so like Minecraft, and now that I'm a bit older, like I'm 28, Minecraft videos are like, dude, the gap is like 14 years, you know? Like the oldest people watching those videos, I shouldn't say the oldest, but it's, it's, it's primarily, it's like, it's like, you know, like 12 year old-ish range. Um, but, like Call of Duty, I was 20 and my audience was like 14. Fortnite, I was like 23 and my audience was 14. But now, let's just see an age. Sh tell me your age in this chat. Like, I was born in 2001. I'm a Zoomer. There's no... Like I said, there's going to be Zoomers, but like I see my statistics and it's like a lot of people that are 28. Like 28, 28, 27, 28, 30, 38, 28, 32, 42, <laughs> 15, 29, 32, 32, 33, 33, 34, 29, 28, 29, 35, 28, 32. You know what I mean? Like, there's some younger people here. There's a five-year-old in here. You see what I mean? Like, 21, like, there are some younger people here. But it's the first time in my life that I've had an audience that, like, are the same. Like, I guess are, like, peers. Which is, like, it's a different dynamic. Um... It's crazy, because, like, in the Discord, there'll always be people like, yeah, like, just gotta go, like, tuck, like, like put my kid to bed, and then I'll be back, or something, and, like, it's like, right, because people that played Gen 1 Pokemon are 
like my age and older. And it actually checks out that there's a lot of people that are older than me because my first Pokemon game was actually silver. And then I was like, oh, Pokemon is sick. And they were still selling red at the time. So I went back and I got red from Walmart. But yeah. Uh, ever comes. Any thoughts on green battle somewhere? I actually, I like that idea a lot, Greenly. That's a, that's a cool idea. Um, I guess does, double slap is better than pound in all instances, right? Double slap is like, I need to hit a five, so I'll risk it. Mega punch is like 85, but it might. They're both kind of unreliable. But double slap always is going to do 40. Anyway, um, I like that your name is Greenly. I would, I would think about green in Legacy for sure. Because that's the thing, I definitely want to get pretty creative with that one. So that that's gonna throw a lot of a lot of different stuff, and it's gonna feel very like it's gonna feel a little more fan fictiony than. Wow, three misses! What the heck? Oh my god! Okay, let's let's get out of here. So anyway, also um, first super chat Greenlee and Frankel's birthday, happy birthday. My bones hurt, so I like yellow. I get it. I'm there. My girlfriend is 25, and uh, she asked me like a few days ago. She's like, is this what being 25 is? Like, she's getting aches, and I'm like, yep. For me, though, I've always been achy. Like, I swear, at like when I was like 18, I had so many like joint stuff. So I, I'm used to it, so it doesn't bother me. And the way I try to approach it is like, it's not that I'm old. It's just that once you get older, you have to take care of yourself. It's just like... You know what I mean? It's like, oh, like, if something hurts, it's like, it's like because I'm not stretching enough or I'm not like, I'm not like working it out and it needs to, like, that's a muscle that needs to be strong. Like, I try to approach it like that. And I think that helps the like, oh, I'm old. Dude, this is the stupidest. This is so funny. I just have to say it. Mom Smith plays as fatter than Snorlax. Like, I'm such a sucker for, for dumb humor. <laughs> Drink some water. Hydration moment. Mm. Vegetables are more of a requirement than a suggestion. I agree. I started taking a daily green powder, and it's done wonders. Like, since I was 13, I used to get sick monthly through the winter it like every like like october arrives i'm going to be sick once a month and i started taking a daily green powder like not that i didn't eat vegetables but like man i just i don't know how you can get like eight servings of vegetables a day like i'm just now i'm not that committed and i'm never going to be i know myself it's like one vegetable for supper for sure it depends on the dish maybe we're getting too different but like for the most part, I'm kind of a one vegetable a day guy and then some fruit, like usually fruit in a smoothie, maybe an orange or an apple. And I just, smoothies, I don't know. Like I said, I just, I was always getting sick and I was like, oh, I probably need like eight servings, you know? And I just kind of decided like to take a green powder every day. Um, this is not sponsored, but I, I I started taking Athletic Greens. It's like promoted in every single podcast ever. And I haven't been sick in six months. And I hate that because it's really expensive. And I wanted to say it's bullshit and it wouldn't work. Maybe I should reach out to them because I genuinely take it. And it, it I have not been sick since I started, but I am not sponsored by them. And I do not have a code for you to use. Um, but... It's been the game changer for me. I haven't been sick since September. And it used to be like a monthly thing for me. Like I I work out, but like I'd never be able to get consistent because I'd always get sick. And like, yeah, I'd miss a lot of work because I'd always be sick because I'm a little bitch and I work from home and I'm on my own boss. I'd be like, oh, I'm sick. I don't want to go into work today, you know? <laughs> but now that I don't get sick, dude, athletic, athletic grades is like, crazy Ooh, john says shout out to soup are we do we have any soup fans in the chat also yeah placebo like hor you're so like i'm so open to that as a possibility because i'm like it seems like it's bullshit but i don't know 
Oh my god. That is the largest donation I have ever seen. Nomad with a 50. A 50. Sir. That is a $50 tip. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Um, Yo, what's up? What, yo, what's up, man? <laughs> I'm going to be so weird now. Yo, what's up, man? Glad I finally caught you live. Gen 2 was an is my favorite gen behind Emerald, and I've played a lot of ROM hacks. Possibly all the Gen 2 ones. I think Crystal Legacy was amazing, and looking forward to em Emerald Legacy 2. Holy crap, man. That is, like, insanely kind. I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, can we get a round of, of love? Thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. Always, I always get... I, bro, the chat knows now. The chat's going off. Yes, chat. Dude. Nomad. Oh, 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 one sec. Let me let me let me pull it back up. First super chat. Thank you. Thank you so much. I I for you alone, I I will make yellow legacy awesome and I will make emerald legacy awesome. And I will beat blue for you. Oh, I love the oh, dude, the chat is getting so real. <laughs> oh, makes me so fired up. We got so many people using emotes now. I feel like I feel like this has been the first stream that it's like real, like you got that chat feel, you know? I feel like, cause I, I'm just kind of diving into streaming on this channel. Pikachu is really bad. Um, it's the first time that we've got like a ton of people using emotes and it's just like, it's got that like community feel that I just like, I love. And I used to have it when I streamed all the time on my zombies channel, but this is the first channel I've really streamed a lot on it. Oh, look at that. It looks so good. Whether you got member emotes or just normal emotes, I love it. That's so hype, guys. That makes me fired up. Hell yeah. <laughs> Am I the only one of the few teenagers here? Yeah, are there are there like people uh, below the age of 20 here? I mean, there's definitely, there were a few people that said, but I just see like the majority. Can we pick Wally as our character? No, sorry. But we will give Wally more fights. Where's Pikachu's Thundershock? I accidentally deleted it. <laughs> um, yeah, Pikachu's struggling a little bit. I am a youngin. Far below 20. 28, checking in. 19. 10%. I would say that is about my statistics, yeah. Hate that mouse. Dude, Clefable's great. Oh yeah, there's a little change we did. We gave uh, we gave Bell Sprout, we gave Blue a Bell Sprout. Um, people are saying box the most. I'm I'm thinking about it. I haven't done a run with Oat Pikachu before, so I I, I do wonder if it would just be uh, interesting to just try it with Oat Pikachu for once. Some Twitch plays Pokemon Easter eggs. That's been talked about. Because also, like, Zombies influence. Like, a lot of my playtesters are Zombies fans. Because that's, like, how they originally knew me. Um, so... We have talked about adding in Easter eggs. Like, maybe throwing in Missing No somehow. Misty might be easier with Hope Pikachu. Uh, any other electric types? We can pick up a Magneton uh, or Magnemite after this. Not zombies Easter eggs, but like, you know. Can you release Pikachu? LOL. No, you can't. The Twitch plays Pokemon team. <laughs> that would be really funny. That would be a cool Easter egg. Actually, I will write that down. Um, Twitch plays Pokemon trainer Easter egg. Dude, that's like... That's like a last minute decision to throw in, but that's funny. Should we box Pikachu? Just run our three goats? I love that I've been saying Beedrill is a, is a poison, a uh, flying type. I'm like, oh, we got two flyers. I guess what I meant was like two Pokemon weak to rock, but. All right, chat. There you go. 
For the first time in my stream history, we have boxed Pikachu. Death to the most. <laughs> Chad is pumped. Uh, man, this has been a really fun stream, guys. I've, I've really had a good time today. <laughs> AJ and his 99 win streak is a reference to the folkloric image of Mu Musa Shibo Benkai, a warrior monk who had 99 win streak on a bridge, became a vassal, a vassal of the man who finally beat him. You are either trolling me really well, or that's sick. <laughs> Twenty dollars for Foxy Pikachu, <laughs> dude. If if you're gonna give me twenty dollars, I am gonna box Pikachu every time. That's so funny. Oh my god, Proxy. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's like, like. If you're willing to drop $20 to express your distaste for Pikachu, like, that is, like, like, so real. Like, it's not, like, that is not, like, a, 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 a general displeasure from Pikachu. That is, like, genuine, like, dislike. That is approaching hate. $20 is a small price to pay. A <laughs> dollar... 1.3 hours of minimum wage is worth it for the hate of Pikachu. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Pull it out and box it again. See if that's a repeatable. Repeatable. Yeah, infinite money. <laughs> uh, no, I get a proxy. I don't actually hate it. I did it as a one-time meme, obviously, of course. But that's that is really funny. <laughs> Pikachu is overrated. These are my people. Oh my god, chat. You're cracking me up today. <laughs> Ooh, we could pick up a starter. I have not ran a starter before. I mostly want Squirtle, and that's the last one. Yeah, legendary. The Professor Oak fight will be uh will be accessible. We have buffed Charizard. It gets Fire Punch now. 24. Blastoise isn't available until the next city. I suppose we could also run Bulbasaur. What, what, what chat, what do you want? Uh, I guess I'll ask. Start a poll. I know what's, I know what the answer's gonna be. All right, we have a poll. <laughs> a most in the box is worth two in the bush. Oh, I need to do a run with all three starters. You're right. Damn it, this is where I would pick up all three starters. Should this be the starter run? Oh, okay, so Scan Man, would it be possible to do like a new game plus after beating Oak to make the starter EV on the second playthrough? I really like that idea. Um, I don't know how feasible that is in the code, but I will actually just write that down. If you have a, 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 a save state or something. Wait, why can't I? One sec. Yeah, I really like an idea like that. And I don't know what would it be. Like maybe you just have to get an, on, uh, an EV in your box or something. It'd be cool, though. Like, you restart your game if you've beaten the game or something, and there's an Eevee in your box, maybe. Yeah, I, I kind of think I'd be down to do the starter run. Like, I think chat wants it. Bulbasaur... Bro, the fact that Bulbasaur winning, like... Not to pander to you guys right now, but, like, that is... Incredibly based. Wait, I thought she was the... Oh, it's up here. That That is, like I, I said, I don't, I don't want that to come off as pandery, but, like, genuinely hella based. I don't even know where you get... No, shut the hell up. This one. Yeah. 
Take care of injured Pokemon. Oh, how do I get Bulbasaur? Bulb yeah, literally Bulbasaur has never beat <laughs> Charmander in the history of a poll. Do I have to beat Misty? Oh, I need Pikachu. <laughs> okay, we're just... <laughs> it's about Pikachu having high friendship. Oh, God. Oh, I also need the Cascade Badge. Ugh. Okay, I'm not gonna use Pikachu. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <sighs> Listen, it's just so we can get it, okay? I have to beat Misty first. Oh, also if I spam potions. Do I have to beat Misty first? Just, it's just happiness. Okay. I kind of like this being a glitch. To me, it's just like, it kind of is quality of life. Why do I say sorry? It's because I'm Canadian. I'm not American, so I don't talk like an American because I'm Canadian. Sorry. Give me your Bulbasaur. <laughs> Oldest trick in the book. I like that she's in there. Um, I think we're going to change the dialogue of the trainer up north. And he's going to actually say, like, basically, like, he's abandoning his Charmander. Man, it would be really cool if you just put a Charmander up there. Like, if there was just no NPC, that would almost be way more appropriate, wouldn't it? Okay. This is just a redo of what we already did. Just, just, you know. Yeah, like, Char Charmander left as a Pokeball item on the floor. Charmander crying in the rain, yeah. Oh, we, we have actually adjusted these these trainers a little bit. I think they're a little more interesting. There was like a repeat trainer. Oh, uh, level 10 Bulbasaur don't, doesn't really... Doesn't really... Oof, doesn't really hang with the likes of Ratatata. When I was a kid, I called it Ratatata. And I always want to still call it Ratatata. Put Pikachu in box one with one HP and never pull it out again. All my homies hate Pikachu. Raichu King for life. <laughs> That's funny, Arrow. <laughs> I, I would, but then we would have to use Pikachu more, and I know that would make chat even more upset. So I'll just leave it in the box, okay? <laughs> Damn, I can't believe Bulbasaur beat Charmander for once. Charizard is like the most loved Pokemon in the, in the Pokemon franchise. That's why it's so crazy. Make Kakuna learn Horn Drill at 99. That would be only for you, my man. <laughs> After Sun and Moon, I can agree with Raichu King. That's fair. That's super fair. Ugh. I know. Yeah, see, you just gotta wait for that Mega Punch to hit, you know? And it really do be hitting. Oh, you idiot. Ugh, Bulbasaur. Come on, buddy. I need you to get some levels for Misty here. I'm gonna give this man some juice. So, I think if we do it all three starter run, I should probably keep this stream going. Like, I've been doing some back and forth. Like, last stream was, like, just a random team I pulled up. But I feel like if we do a all three starter run, we should grab, um... We, like, I should continue this play playthrough and, and, and stream it again. Oh, uh, first time we got from Undrave. Says, uh, finally figured out how to send a super chat. Not kidding about Benkai. It's a common cultural reference in Japan. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I really have no other words. Because, like, you could have been trolling me super hard right there. And I'd be like, 
Okay. <laughs> but that's cool. That's really cool, actually, that that's, like, based off of something. Damn. Anyway, thanks, man. <laughs> uh, let's hit a leech seed. All right, that's about all we can do now. Yeah, Lola and Ryushu was really cool. They they really were like, we need to, we need to give Ryushu something, and I think they I think they hit it. Like it surfs on its tail. It's pretty cool. Poison Sting's not even that bad now that it's thirty five power. You know, stab thirty five. It's it's it's, it's hitting. Still working on those back sprites. Yeah, yeah, the teams, man, they're doing a great job. Like they're they're making crazy progress and they look so good. Maybe after the Misty fight, I'll, I'll show you guys. Um, but yeah, I, th I think we'll keep this safe state going, just for uh, consistency's sake. Wish we got Gorochu someday, dude. You know, you know the lore. I didn't know what Gorochu was till like a few months ago. <laughs> Too many Larvitars on trainers and crystal. Valid critique. Valid critique. Pika Blue will be announced any day now. Yeah, we gotta swap. I like your team though. I feel pretty good about this team. Look at this wing attack. It's going to be so meaty. Oh my god. Like, I think wing attack on Pidgeotto at 18. Because the way you want to think about it is like... Like the Pokemon getting stronger, right? And so, just getting the evolution of Pidgeotto is really strong. So I'm almost like it could use wing attack a bit later. Like, even at 21. And then it's kind of like more of a smooth. But like, Pidgeotto and wing attack is just like... Kind of cracked. The missed opportunity of Pikachu shiny being blue. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? Okay. Um, we're going to... Like, that's just not... That's just not the dude in the anime, you know? Uh, it may not be possible. Ah, uh, you could still catch Mew with the Mew glitch. Yeah, we, we haven't touched that. It'd just be way too complicated to fix. Do the Mew glitch? I don't have a, I don't have a, a Pokemon with teleporter dig. Unfortunately, I can't do it right now. All right, let's let's take a crack at Misty. This isn't really a great team for it, but uh, let's take a crack to make that way more accurate to the guy from the anime. Yeah, man, I love that. Like I've been seeing a lot of people playing Kanto expansion pack. Um, oh, are you going to play Pal World? Can we talk about that right after this? You already fought the swimmer? No, Zach, there's another person up uh, on Route 25 that has the same... I think it's like special stat as a... Uh... Oh, you know what? We've changed all the Pokemon. Right. You might not be able to do the Mew Glitch. Or you might have to figure out another way to do it. Power World Legacy. I think this is a bad play. Yeah. What if I had a potion? Ah, you're just going to do that, huh? Ah, you dinkleberry. <laughs> Didn't mean to run. Um... Yeah, Pokemon Ash Gray. Well, I think there's a lot of people that want yellow legacy to be ash gray and it's like i gotta say like if you want a version of 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 gen one that is like truly anime it's ash gray it just like follows it follows the anime like pretty much beat for beat i think um mm, as long as ditto's in the mansion you can still get anything super valid point yeah
Okay. Oops, actually, I did want to change. Charmander's about to get nuked. <laughs> Sorry, Charmander. I just want to give some experience to Bulbasaur. Um... Choose your Pikachu sprite from Oak's from Oak's lab, Oak's lab table. I don't know if we would be able to do that. I think it's better to just keep the sprite as is. I think that would be a little too complicated. That's some good damage. Yeah, Goldeen with Waterfall is not to be messed around. Like, that's some big damage. Waterfall is 70, not 80, but it has a 30% flinch chance. Also, Waterfall is such a better sprite than Surf in this game. Uh, Mew won't be a roaming legendary. Just I won't tell you what it's going to be. But Legendary, how do you draw a line between quality of life and staying true? Scope creep. It's, it's, it's just situational, but generally, you look at what the game did... And if they if they did it in another instance, I will be like, okay, then that should be allowed for this other case. That's like the biggest thing is don't look to like other gens, but look like what did they do in this generation? That's kind of the, the big the big main sort of thing. Oh, we're gonna get eviscerated by this Starmie. Um It's also it has bubble beam confusion and swift, so it can't even use a like a wasteful move. It's very lethal. And it makes sense because Misty literally says, I have this all, all offensive like move set, and then she just doesn't. <laughs> She's actually using X defense, and it's like, dude, what, what? That's not what you said you were going to do. Okay. Clefable's not bad for this fight. Okay. I think we'll just sack Clefable here. Oh. There's the swift kill. Misty is a known. Yeah, she's she's good. I don't know if we'll I don't we won't outspeed, right? See, Beedrill is no longer a Misty killer. Oh no, we lose. Oh, shoot, I thought we still had Pidgeotto. Damn, um, that's awkward. Well, let's run it back, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lot of... Dude, Starmie's good. Super effective, man. Starmie's... Starmie's... Psychic's good. Starmie's good. Misty get X special. Misty's most threatening way to play is just using moves. Um... And to be fair, we don't have Pikachu. Pikachu with Thunder Punch really eats up Misty. When do you think the Romac will be available? Um, in a perfect world, March. So, April. <laughs> I would love to drop it in March, but I think it's going to be April. Okay, we're going to go for a Vine Whip this time. I just want to see what a, what a Bulbasaur does with Vine Whip. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. You like that? Like how the AI knows? It's like, okay, you're swapping to Charmander? Well, then I will use Bubble Beam. It, it, yeah. We're, we're talking about some reworks to the AI. Um, I forget what the ROM that did it, but they have, they have a better, there's a better AI that's more like Gen 2. Just to make the AI a little more consistent, and I kind of like it. But if we do that, then we're going to have to lower the levels a lot. Just one sec. was live. Anyway, yeah. 
Um, Pidgeotto make a pretty good work of this, Starmie. Um... There's the peck. Look at that. It just reads you. It just knows. Okay. Don't kill, please. Whew. Okay, so now we'll go Beedrill. See any movies lately? I saw... Uh, what was the last movie I saw? I'm going to see Argyle on Tuesday. We go to a lot of movies. Big movie fan. Um, you know, we got, we got this, we got this fight under wrap. I saw a Ferrari. I think that was the last one I saw. Wasn't that great. It was okay. It just wasn't what I was expecting. Yes. Uh, grass poison types just can't waltz in on regular game. I think it's a pretty nice wall. Like it, it makes the fight kind of, kind of complicated. Grass, grass just doesn't do well in this fight because every single Pokemon has super effective. They either have Peck or Confusion, so. Anyway, it's not too bad. It was a blast. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. Ooh, so it says, I feel way underleveled for Crystal Legacy 2nd Elite 4. Was that intent? Yes. The intent is like, you're not supposed to be on the same level as them. Like, and that's like how Gen 2 kind of played, is like, slowly you get like, overleveled. And the purpose of that is because if you're at the same level as the Pokemon you're fighting, it's just too easy. So it's to make the game harder. Yeah. You should be underleveled. All right, guys. So that is, um, I think that we're going to call it right there. Um, oh, we finish things off from Anir Anirida Sen. I hope, I hope I say that right. Aniruda Sen with, uh, I don't know what currency that is, but that's cool. Um, saying, I found this channel a little after you posted your Crystal Legacy announcement video and have since watched every video and live stream. Replays, unfortunately, since I'm now in India. Um, okay, cool. What's up? Um, I'm glad I finally caught a live stream. Yeah, we're just finishing up, but you're going to be the last donor uh, of the stream. So thanks. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate that. Um, and uh, shout out to you and, and all of, of Replay Gang. Um, anyone that's watched through this. So, yeah. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Um, we're going to call it there, but I think I'm going to keep this save going and we'll do another playthrough. Um, and so we will do playing from here on with, we will do all three starters. So this will be an all three starter run. And I think that will be kind of special. I think that will kind of, uh, cause I haven't, I haven't ran the starters really. I've been really focused on balancing the other Pokemon, but I want to see how the starters play. So I don't know if we'll keep Beedrill for the full playthrough, but We'll have those three and then the three starters for a while. Um, guys, this was a really fun stream. This was like uh, this was like a fe especially fun to me. I don't know what it was, but it was just like good vibes in the chat, and uh, I had a lot of fun playing. So it's a little more casual. I feel like a lot of people know a lot about what's going on with the hack now, so we're just kind of playing through and, and vibing with it. It was good. So have a lovely Sunday evening. I'm going to go make supper, and... Uh, Oh, back sprites. I did say back sprites, didn't I? I did. Okay, that is the last thing. I'm going to show off just a few, okay? I don't want to spoil it. Um, and we're just going to show some of the most recent. Um, let me see what I can find here. Hope they don't mind. Let me, let me actually... I'm going to back up to some of the more recent ones. Or more later, earlier. Earlier ones. We'll see what we got. Alright. Um I just want to find some ones that are like obviously terrible and obvious improvements. Um Okay, here's a here's a good here's a here's a good one. Um okay, so I don't know why it's kind of zoomed out like that, but uh, anyway. Um, okay, so um, that is like the original Bellsprout Sprite. That's Bellsprout's Sprite in yellow, and that's the new Bellsprout Sprite. So, amazing. Um, an example of Arbok. Uh, future, future Arbok doesn't have that pattern. 
So that's just like a really simple change. Um, that is modern Vileplume. Because Vileplume has like stuff on it. And in the original sprite, it, it just doesn't. Um, so just a few, just a few examples. Um, I think I showed Polyrath before. Uh, it's kind of small. You can't really tell, so I won't, um, spend time on that. But, uh, some of the, some of the reworks. Oh, here you go. Here's a, here's actually a bunch from Zach. Um, those other ones were from Izona. Um, so I feel like that. There you go. There's your, there's your little tease. Like, come on. How much better do these look? Like a really good example is Charmander because Charmander's pose is like its front pose is like ah like it's, it's all like it's got it hands up and it's like biting so like matching that sprite uh pikachu has been kind of slimmed down to match what it actually looks like in yellow um squirtle looks really good like i mean obviously vulpix actually now looks like vulpix so yeah there's your there's a good there's a good little teaser um cool um yeah right they look so good. Like, they look so good. I, I've literally, I keep telling them, I'm like, this is going to be the best thing about this ROM hack. <laughs> um, oh, and then Pal World. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I, I run a Minecraft channel and we do 100 days. And I'm like, do I do 100 days in Pal World? And just, like, upload it to a different channel? Like, I don't know. I don't know. My friend was like, dude, you got to get on Pal World. It's really big. And I'm like, dude, do I just get on Pal World? Do I make 100 days in Pal World? I've never played it, right? So just like go in blind and just like this is my hundred days. I think it would be really fun, but I have a Minecraft video I gotta hit this month, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> I know it'd be a bagger, but I just I'm like, do I have the time for it? I wouldn't upload it to this channel. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much. This has been an awesome chat. I gotta go, um, but much love, and. Uh, I'll see you later. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep this we'll keep this safe going. Thank you to Replay Gang as well. We love you. Thank you to chat. Thank you to all the donors. Welcome to new members. Uh, all the gifters. You guys were awesome. And uh, everyone, much love. And I'll see you soon.